Okay, today we have a J7 Prime, model number J727T, that's a T-Mobile variant. Today we'll be removing the factory reset protection, that's the Google Lock. At first we're just going to show you guys that it is actually Google Locked. Alright, so here you see the device was reset. Uh, can't go any further until we put in a Google account that was previously on the device. So, if you don't remember your Google account or password and you can't get back into your phone, this tutorial will be able to help you. Alright, first thing we're going to do is to tap the home button three times very quickly. One, two, three. This Talk will bring up the Talk Back Talk tutorial. Back now we're going to draw an L on the screen. After that, the menu will come up. We're going to hit top back settings twice. Right. Once the top back settings opens, we're going to suspend top back by tapping the home button three times again. One, two, three. Now it's suspended. Scroll down to help and feedback. Tap it going to hit get started with voice access all right now we're going to use this youtube video to get to the youtube app play the video and tap the title when it comes up all right, once the youtube app launches swipe down on this video and hit the icon right here terms and privacy policy this will open the Samsung internet browser later now we're gonna download uh, a file we're gonna go to m a l c o m p dot webs dot com can you see that website go right. cool. Once the page loads, loads, we're gonna hit FRP bypass tools. After that, we're gonna download um, Sidebar Launcher 3.4.3. Three. download has started to view our downloads we're gonna hit bookmarks cancel history download history then we're gonna hit the my files this will take us to storage all right from the storage we are going to hit downloads here's a file we just downloaded we're gonna launch it First, we have to enable unknown sources in settings. Alright, install. Alright, we're going to open. Right, so, we're going to swipe across from here. We're going to 
edit the favorite apps list. We're just going to remove these two. We're going to add Chrome. We are going to add my files and we're going to add settings. All right, that should be it. Okay, so from here, we're going to go to settings. All right, in settings, lock screen and security, other security settings, device admins. We're going to deactivate find my device back. We're now going to go to apps, show system apps, tipping this thing up here. Now we're going to look for Google Play Services. There it is. I disable that. Back Google Account Manager. We we'll disable that as well. All right. After this, we need to download another file. I'm going to swipe across to get our sidebar hit chrome Set and continue gonna go to the same website again malcom.webs.com there it is alright go FRP bypass tools. Scroll down. I look for FRP bypass tool 2018. Okay. I'm going to download this file. Continue to update the permissions for Chrome. Okay, all right, the file has started to download. We can view this by tapping that and going to downloads so we can see how long this is going to take. So it seems like my internet is a bit slow, so I'm going to pause the video until it finishes downloading. All right, okay, but it's almost finished now. So once that finishes, we're going to launch the file, install. finished we're gonna open it all right once this opens we are gonna swipe across I'm gonna get the sidebar back open swipe all right now we're gonna go to settings accounts Add accounts. I'm gonna go to Google. Alright, now we're gonna put in our Google account, your Google account. Um, okay, let's finish putting in our password now. Next, I agree. From here, we are going to restart the phone. Oh, wait, sorry, no, not yet. Uh, restart up. I'm gonna go back, back. Lock screen and security. Other security settings, device admins. We are gonna activate the Android device manager. Now 
we're going to go to apps. I'm going to view the apps that we disabled. And we're going to enable them. Alright, once those are enabled now, we are going to restart the phone. Restart. Okay, so as you can see, we are now in the phone. Now to do the final step to finish the procedure. Swipe down, go to settings, general management, reset, factory data reset. Now we're gonna reset the device and delete all the accounts on it, giving it a fresh start. So after the phone comes up this time, you'll be good uh, thank you for watching if i helped you to get back in your phone please like and subscribe have a good day guys